So this is actually something that I've wanted to do for quite a while. I did do a, try and do a tutorial beforehand, but um, it kind of went horribly on, and that was on the older camera, and the audio wasn't uh, going to sound uh, so great on that. Um, but I'm sure many of you on the Beetleweight scene may be familiar with this motor, which is a 25mm RPM gearbox. I might have to tap the screen to focus on that so you can just see it better. But yeah, uh, this uh, gearbox motor has been widely used across the Beetleweight scene, uh, across the globe in robot combat. Um, and what I'm going to do for this time around, I have done this before, but um, I'm going to change this into this. So I'm going to change it from a brushed gearbox motor setup into a brushless gearbox motor setup. Uh, the, the main reason why I'm doing this is because I have been experimenting with this before, but um, for my um, roller version of Abu Dhabi Do, which is the Shuffler Flipper, um, I'm planning on rebuilding it as a roller, um, but because of how tight for weight I am in certain places, I'm left with no other alternative other than to use brushless instead of brushed. Uh, now, the main reason behind this was I'm able to run something a lot faster on a lower voltage. Um, there's more uh, power behind it as well. Basically, just brushless packs into something much smaller than you would get with a brushless. And for this setup, I've just been using the standard 25mm gearbox and the B1806 brushless motors. And they didn't come like this with a MR30M connector. I have basically did it, I did it like this beforehand. But, um, before doing this uh, tutorial, just in case you may think it might come like this, but it doesn't. Uh, so, on with the tutorial. Right, so first of all, here we have our brushed uh, gearbox motor, and this is actually the one that was damaged in a fight, because uh, this was used in a machine called Friendface, which went up against a machine called Toxin. Now, because of poor print quality issue because I didn't cal calibrate the E-steps before the uh, prints on the chassis because I had no idea how to do it. Um, this was what resulted. And yeah, this was the damage that uh, Toxin managed to do to one of the motors. Now the motor itself is beyond use, however the gearbox, as far as I'm aware, is still perfectly fine. So I'm still able to salvage something out of this. So what I'm just going to do first of all is get a standard... I'm using a 0 to 75mm uh, Phillips screwdriver, just to basically take these two screws off holding the gearbox into place, so... Also, we're going to want to keep these for later when we do reassemble the gearbox, so... So once we've done that, we're going to want to be careful there, so... So hold it in between the second layer, and... Once we've done that, we've got our gearbox off, uh, put that to one side very carefully. Now, here there are another two um, Phillips screws, so we're going to want to take those off. Now, because of the motor we're using, these we won't actually need these screws, so you can put them to one side and just use them if you do have something to salvage. So we do have... So there's our motor without the gearbox, and here we have the pinion gear, which we will want to take off. Now, I did have a tool somewhere for using it. Hang on, where is it? So... Ah, here we go. So, so what I'm going to do is just use a couple of, of these needle nose pliers to very carefully get this pinion gear off of the motor shaft. And I wouldn't recommend putting too much force on this, otherwise the pinion gear could go flying off somewhere and you may not be able to find it again. So I'll just try this method, which should should come off. You might want to put a bit of force on it, but you want to just be careful that, of course, the pinion gear isn't going to go flying out anywhere. Well, that's weird. So that was not... <laughs> I just want to double check the gearbox. 
Okay, I'll admit that did take a bit longer than anticipated, but I got there in the end. Um, basically what I did was I just put the motor in a vice and just sort of kind of pushed it off from there. It's kind of a bit difficult to explain in this case without actually showing what happened. I kind of did it off camera because I was worried it was going to take a while. So there we have our pinion gear off the motor. And this motor, um, even though it's unusable, I'm probably just going to keep it as a little momentum uh, showing... Uh, the damage that machines like Toxin on a beetle weight scale can actually do. Let's put that out of the way now. Um, to now onto our brushless motors. Now what we want to do is, we don't want the pinion gear on this end of the Outrunner in this case. In this case what we're actually using is a B1806 uh, 2300 kV brushless motor. Um, they've been made by different brands and manufacturers. I don't think this one... Oh yeah, this is a... Um, there's the branding on the side. It's a, this is a Flash Hobby uh, motor. So, we want to get the pinion gear on this end of the motor shaft. And what we're going to want to do in this case is... Um, hey, I'll just go and find it. Okay, so I brought the motor over to a vice. Um, however, if you don't have one of these, uh, a G-clamp will do fine. So, we're going to want to get the motor and put an M6 nut right here in the center uh, where the uh, shaft end is and might want to be very careful lining this up as well but uh, just press that get like that. This is an M6 nut which uh, is usually doing fine and we're going to tighten the vice clamp up and push the shaft through the other end of the motor like that so after we've done that, the shaft should be, actually I might want to poke that out just a little bit more. So it turns out that was a thinner than usual M6 nut, so I've got a thicker uh, M8 nut. So just push that out just that little bit more. Oh, obviously don't put too much force into the clamp, only tighten it up when you feel some resistance like I have just done. And after that, the shaft of our brushless motor is no longer pointing out this end, as you can see, but it's now pointing out this end. So I completely forgot to bring the uh, pinion gear with me. So what I'm gonna do is hold, hold the pinion gear in place with the pliers and then bring in the brushless motor and once I'm holding the pinion gear in place with the motor, I'm just going to bring in the clamp and push the pinion gear in like that. And to basically check to make sure that's okay and straight. So there we have it. We have now got the pinion gear onto the brushless motor. So let's take that back to the bench and get this brushless motor onto the gearbox. So with our modified brushless motor, we're going to get the plate of the gearbox to screw it into place. Now, the holes we were using were, I believe, these two to hold the brush motor in place. I just kind of did it off camera a little bit then, sorry about that, I just have to focus. But yeah, these two were the holes that we used to fix the brush motor in place. However, because of the... Uh, mounting holes being a bit different on the brushless motor, we're going to be using these two. And even though they're not 100% accurate, we're just going to just line them up uh, to this point right here. And we're not going to be using these screws that are holding the brush motor in place. So the brushless motor that we've got comes with these M2 bolts. And what we're going to do is just carefully line it up. And I'm going to get a small Allen key to just both screw it in just a little bit. Not going to screw it all the way because we want to get the alignment right. Now just get the next bolt, stick that into the Allen key like this. So getting the alignment right and just screwing them in. Just like that. So you want to get the pinion gear uh, dead on the centre. 
I'm just going to align that up and just put the gearbox back on just to check. So it is turning a little bit. I just got to get the alignment correct. And actually, I might not need to, but uh, screw that in just a little bit more. So that looks to be correct. So grab our gearbox, align these two bits with these two holes. And then spin that round just a little bit. I think that looks to be good. Yep, yeah, feels good. Feels brilliant actually. Yeah, so, so we're gonna get where's our bolts? Where's our bolts? Where's our bolts? Ah, so the bolts that were going in here, we're gonna bring those back in. Like that. Uh, hold the gearbox down like this and then just screw the gearbox back together again. And there we have it, that we have our new brushless uh, motor gearbox setup. And I'll just give that a spin. And as you can see from the shaft, sounds smooth. Um, but what I'm just going to do is, just to test it, I've got a brushless CSC kicking about, so going to get that, give that a test on this and see how it goes. Alright, so time to test this out. So what I've got here is a 2S LiPo battery, a 12 amp bi-directional ESC from AliExpress, my DSMX receiver, and of course the new brushless system here. So, I haven't really put any connectors on this because I'll be hooking two of these together so we got a beep turn the transmitter on yeah. that, actually, that that sounds really good hang on I'll just give a Close up on this, you can see it looks a lot better. And there we have it. Yeah, so I'm really proud of that. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So just disconnect from the ESC. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, I'm amazed. Uh, it's actually my... I, I think it's only my third time doing this because I did have a couple of brushless motors with this one, but one of them went. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I now have two brush systems to go for my next uh, Beetleweight build because I'll have to use brushes because of how tight for weight I am in certain areas. But with that being said, uh, let's cut to the outro. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, this is only my third attempt at doing this and I'm really amazed at how well it comes out e each time and I was worried that at some point I would end up doing this, that I would end up uh, messing up and it wouldn't run so smooth but it runs very nicely. I got the alignment correct and it sounds so much smoother when running it on the ESC than I thought it would. Um, but one thing I will say about this particular setup with this particular gearbox is don't run it on any higher than 2S. Um, because I did run these on 3S beforehand thinking that it would be perfectly fine because I was told by a few people not to run it on anything higher than 2S and I thought well, I was running it on 3S, it's perfectly fine, so what's happening? And then completely out of nowhere, one of the gearboxes exploded. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to be sticking to 2S for this particular gearboxes. There are some better gearboxes that can handle a uh, high RPM uh, when using different brushless motor setups to this. But um, I'm going to have to look into that. But that's basically the tutorial for how to convert a 
brushed gearbox motor 25mm into a brushless setup like this. So, I don't really have anything else to say at this point, but thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you what I get up to next.